welcome to week two of the Sirdar Knit Along. I'm Emma Rye and this week we're going to be looking at the linen stitch. So the linen stitch is inspired by the horizontal landscape which is enhanced by that linen stitch. So this week's all about colour and all about stripe, looking at those tones of pink, white and green. The technique we're going to be showing you is how to bring your yarn backwards and forwards when completing the linen stitch as well as how to change colour neatly. Panel two is a linen stitch. For this panel, we will show you how to slip a stitch purlwise, taking the yarn backwards and forwards, and how to join in a new colour to create a stripe over four rows. When changing colour, twist the old colour with the new colour to carry the yarn up the right hand side of the work. We will now show you on a small sample. Let's get knitting. Knit two. Yarn forward. Slip one purlwise, yarn back. Knit one, yarn forward, slip one, yarn back, knit one. Repeat these two steps to the last stitch and knit one. This is a pearl row. Row three. Now you're going to move the pan over by one stitch. Knit three, yarn forward, slip one, purl wise, knit one. Yarn forward, slip one, purl wise, yarn back, knit one. Repeat to the last two stitches and knit two. Row four is a pearl row. These four rows set the linen stitch. Now join in a new colour and work the same four rows again and continue in the linen stitch stripe sequence over the four rows until your panel measures 122 centimetres, 48 inches, ending with a wrong side row. I hope you've all enjoyed this week's Knit and Natter. Don't forget to share your work in progress with us using the hashtag SirDarCal. Happy knitting and see you next week.